We all hear about the high cost of education and the fact that our skilled workforce is retiring. So what are we doing as a society to help prepare the next generation of skilled workers? Well, at this high school, they've taken on that charge and it all starts with a quality education. Mike Jakubowski is an industrial arts instructor at Hampshire High School in Hampshire, Illinois. Not only that, he's my closest friend, godfather to my kids, and we used to build houses together. Today, he's part of an advanced trade education program that can translate directly into real world jobs. We have five areas of study, uh, welding, wood shop, auto shop, advanced manufacturing, and CAD. We service about almost 500 kids out of our 1,700 kids here. There's four teachers. I like to use the phrase, it's not grandpa's wood shop anymore. Even in a design class, they're gonna 3D print something or they'll take it to the machine shop or they'll take it to the welding shop, all producing parts via computerized machinery. And if the parts don't work, then you take that back, and they don't always. Right and you take that back to the design class and then what are you gonna change? It's not like it used to be and the industry is just crying for trained individuals. I have kids that are going to into, into a four year degree to get an engineering degree. Right. And I have kids that will leave Hampshire High School and go get a job. It's valuable to, to the whole spectrum, I think. It's got 4,000 pounds on it, it will actually straighten it back out. So now as it rolls down the road, it rolls down straight. I graduated four years ago, and my main focus in high school was automotive technology. There's not just your technician that's in the shop working on the car, there's just an abundance of where you can go with automotive, and that goes the same with the wood shop class, electrical class, welding. You're not gonna see it go away anytime soon. The job I have right now is, it's well paying. I like it, there's opportunity for me to move up, whereas, yeah, most of my friends, they're still working your, you know, your high school jobs, I guess. There is this shift to say, what are we gonna do with these young people that, that aren't gonna go to college, or don't want to invest, or maybe just aren't, can't quite figure out what to do. There's real good paying jobs available with the right training. Absolutely. You can be successful and not, not go to four year college. That being said, you need more education than the high school. It needs to be on-the-job training, it needs to be an apprenticeship, it needs uh, internships, something. We do our best at the high school level to get you as much training as we can, but you still need more. Like everything else in life, funding is a huge part of this. Uh, we get federal grants, which help us out a great deal, but. Without the support of the administration, we're, we're dead in the water. You know, we're a hobby class. For us here, we look at setting up advisory boards, so bringing in businesses from the area to find out what are their needs for employees, uh, what are their needs for skill sets, so that way we can help build our classes around those skill sets that employers are looking for to help get students those jobs when they're exiting school. Next year, we start pre-law as a career pathway uh, and looking to have culinary arts and hospitality uh, start along with allied health. In addition to the hard skills, how to operate the machines, how to do this, how to measure that. We do Skills USA, which is a national vocational contest, where they have to wear a tie. Some of my kids, you know, don't, don't want to wear ties, but to get a job interview, you might need to wear a tie. Uh, they have to put together a resume. So we try to cover the whole person. We offer a couple of different certifications, but Woodshop has a national certification. In the manufacturing program, we have uh, NIMS certification, either getting you in the door ahead of somebody that's not certified, or pay raises along the way as, you, as you're going. And we're working toward that in welding and automotive as well. I'm a junior at Hampshire High School, and I'm leaning towards a manufacturing degree. I think Hampshire High School probably has the most advanced industrial ed courses, especially when it comes to manufacturing, because we have a lot of the newer technology that other schools don't have yet, and so that helps a lot with getting hands-on experience that you can apply to the real machining world. I love this topic, I could talk about it all day. And I'm very excited for my friend Mike because he so enjoys teaching these kids. You know, this kind of industrial arts training in the trades, in, in learning how to operate computers for CAD operation, it really can make a difference and help these kids find a path to what they wanna do with the rest of their life. Find a high school in your area that has a program like this and look into it because it can really make a difference. Go Whips!